y'all first of all let me just i don't even know where to start all right so you guys seen the title i am working a nine to five and i'm six months pregnant let me show y'all my stomach i always show y'all my stomach <laughs> And I am a concierge. Um, I work overnight. Sometimes I work 4 to 12, but mainly I work 12 to 8, so 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Um, I work at a luxury apartment building. Um, this is my uniform, all black, not the nails. I, I'm really not even supposed to have this color nails. Like I'm supposed to have like a neutral color nails, but I mean like, who will stop me? But I have a blazer right here. Are you supposed to wear like a blazer? Like I look very professional when I put it on, but I don't know, like, I don't know if it's my pregnancy symptoms, but I be having these hot flashes. So I, I got a little hot. But let me tell y'all a little bit about my job. So I really don't do anything. Like I sit at this desk. I really don't want to show too much because I don't know if I'm able to do that. But I have like this big workspace. You know what I'll do? Because I only have three more months of working here. Because after I have my baby, I'm not coming back. But so towards the ending of my work experience i'm going to record like everything but i am going to show you guys some cool things about my job but i don't do nothing i'm just sitting here literally like i'm just sitting here i just had my feet kicked up i got my little phone right here and i got a little stand and i just be watching movies i'll be watching youtube i'll be watching shows tonight i had watched um married to medicine I try to like watch one show a day, one reality show a day because I have to come back here the next two nights. Like I'm working back to back to back three nights in a row and I'm so bored and I actually was getting really sleepy. So I just decided to record and let you guys know like what do I do and it's so crazy because honestly you guys this would have been like a secret but before I talk about that make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Come along this experience with me. Join the secret game and smash that subscribe button. But yet me having a job would have most definitely been a secret because I was a dancer for seven years. If you guys don't know, if you're new to this channel, I was a dancer for seven years, an exotic dancer. I never had a real job. The only time I had a real nine to five job was when I was in high school and I graduated 2014. So I started popping this straight out of high school so I didn't have no experience with nothing and this job that I work I didn't even apply for the job like it literally was placed into my life um I'll probably talk about that tomorrow because I gotta like you know expand the knowledge because I'm about to be here for the next two nights after this one and I'm so tired I'd rather be in my bed but this job was just like placed into my life and I'm super grateful for this job opportunity. And I'm just so appreciative for even being able to work this job because I didn't have any experience. My resume was trash. So um, now that I work here, I've been here since February, I believe. So I've been here for a minute and then I'll probably stop working here in August. So I'm, I'm getting all the experience I need. So when I do have my baby, while I'm just sitting at home, I'm going to give me an at-home job. So at least I'll have some type of experience with the computer, Microsoft, customer service. Like I'll have all the experience I need to have another job that I can work from home. And I just feel like I need a job, y'all. Like I needed a job. I can't just sit at home because I'm pregnant. And like it sounds all sweet and stuff like, oh, like you could just do nothing and be pregnant. Like, no, like I have to be active because if not, I'll go into a deep depression. So like I have to have a job. To be honest, I'm trying to get me another job like a week after I have the baby. Like, 
I just, I have to stay active. Like I gotta do something. I gotta be productive. But yeah, so I don't do nothing. I'm just really sitting here. It's just the easiest job. So if any of you people, any of you girls get pregnant and you was a dancer, and, or if, even if you wasn't a dancer, like say if you just don't have that corporate world background, I would suggest you get a concierge job because it's the most easiest job ever. Like I literally don't do nothing out. Like I'm sitting here, I haven't did nothing. I just been sitting here. And then I do see customers, not customers, I do see residents. And all I do is say, hey, hi, have a good night. <laughs> because this is a luxury apartment the door is locked so if anybody want to come in i have to let them in unless they live here and then they have a key that they can get in my throat is like really dry and if guests come they have to come talk to me and i have to call the resident to see if i can let them up and if i can let them up i can um just unlock the elevator for them to where they can go like they can't just roam around like i have to they have to go where i send them basically you know have a good night okay okay <laughs> but yeah so I would say, or even if you're not even pregnant, I would just say if you just need a job, if you need some money, if you just need something to do, become a concierge for a luxury building. I don't know what it's like in a hotel and stuff because, you know, at hotels, I think they stand up on their feet. Y'all, I sit down. I don't stand up. I sit down. Like, I don't have to walk around. I don't have to do nothing. I just sit here. Like, who... Come on, like this is the easiest job ever. You just sit there. You just literally sit here and do nothing. But I will say this, even though it's the most easiest job, I have to say, like y'all, I just be chilling here. I be drinking my water. I be catching up on my water. I got my little snacks. Like I've been eating some candy tonight. Um, I had did Go Puff. I don't know if y'all know what Go Puff is, but it's like y'all be seeing the commercial where you could order snacks and they bring it to you. So I just got like hella snacks. And I'm sorry y'all, it's late. I'm supposed to be in the bed. Um, I got my notebook right here. So like during this time, I like to just plan out my life, my vision, do a little manifestation, manifesting, meditating. Like this is the perfect time to really just focus on gratitude, meditate and manifest in what I want because it's so quiet and I have a lot of me time so I get a clear vision of my next move that I'm going to make like where do I see my life in the next six months or where do I see my life in the next year like I'm able to get all of that done clear my head and just really plan out like this is my blueprint in here of how I'm going to be the most successful I can be and be the best version of myself like that's one thing I really love about this job because I could be at home like you know it's, I'd be lonely at home you know when you at home you just want to lay down you want to just chill be lazy and stuff so the fact that I'm out of my house and I'm just at this job and I don't have a bed I can just go lay in or you know tv a big tv that can just distract me I really and just being in a different space you know not being in that not being in my comfort zone like my home is my comfort zone so since I'm not in my comfort zone I feel like I can get more done like I'm more focused on my vision and I'm more focused on being healthier like if I don't get enough water during the day I know I'm gonna get it when I come to work I'm gonna drink all the water because I'm not tempted to drink a soda or something you know and I can just really focus on my health, my wealth and vision. Like that's one thing I really love about this job because you have nothing but you time, me time. And I love that because I need that. 
because I'm not about to continue where I, I am getting me a job once I have my baby because I'm probably won't I'm gonna be sitting down for like six to eight weeks but uh -uh. I'm gonna be successful a, a successful business owner okay that's just what it's gonna be but you know now I'm pregnant so it kind of took a turn I had a vision but now I'm still focused on that same vision and the same goals but I have to redirect myself. I have to I have to now incorporate and include this new life that I'm living. Like I same goal, same vision. It's just a different way of getting to where it is I want to be at basically. If that makes sense, it makes sense to me. But what I oh well now let me tell y'all what I really just don't like about the job is I'd rather be in my bed. I'd rather be in my bed sleep right now. Like when I stop recording, I'm probably gonna watch a little more YouTube, but I get so sleepy. Oh, and another thing I wanna say is the light usually is on, like it's really bright. Let me show y'all how bright it is. But I turn the light off because it's late, like, you know what I mean? And then with the lights off, it's just more calmer for me. It give me like a calm vibe, calm vibe. I know that didn't sound right. It's just way more calmer, way more relaxed. Like I feel like I can get into my wusa, my meditating with it being all dim like this, with the light like this. So I like it like this. And I really could just have it my way. Sometimes I go to the rooftop. Um, that's probably what we're gonna do tomorrow or the day after that. Because I'm gonna take y'all along this journey with me, okay? Come with, come along with me, experience this with me. But we're probably gonna do that tomorrow or the day after that, go to the rooftop. When you go to the rooftop, you can see the whole city. And I like to sit out there by the pool and just get some fresh air and then you know when you looking over the city it gives you a real good like deep desire feeling to get what you want you know hello good how are you it look like i got a dimple that's a pimple but um yeah y'all gonna see y'all y'all gonna see tomorrow or the day after it or the day after tomorrow like what it looks like it's so beautiful um, it's two sides like this building have two pools to be honest I would move here like when I get my shit together when I know what I'm doing when I have like once I become because y'all have to learn how to be a mom I don't know how to be a mom so once I like learn how to be a mom learn my child my child learn me when I learn that balance like when I find that balance of being a mom and having a job and also focusing on my career my dream you know, that's me getting my shit together. I would move here because it's so nice and it's very luxury, but they have two pools. So you can go to this side or this side and this side shows you one part of the city and then the other side show you another side of the city. So beautiful, like it's so beautiful. And I just love like looking over the city, looking at all the lights, the wind blowing, looking at the cars, just having that fresh air. Is what I love. I'm trying not to eat too much candy though, cause every time I eat candy, he be kicking me. <clears throat> he be acting crazy. Somebody coming, hold on. And sometimes, you're welcome. So yeah, y'all, um, I have a really big workspace behind me is like our little closet area where people have packages in there and they'll come and they be like can you get a package for me but i work overnight more than likely people don't bother me about no package and then like in front of me is 
like couches, chairs, like it's just very nice and with chandeliers. So sometimes if I get too sleepy, I'll get up and start walking and then I'll go sit on the couch and just be chilling. Such an easy job, but this kind of like my intro of me like telling you guys about me working a nine to five while pregnant. But back to what I was saying, see how my mind works, I just be jumping from everywhere. But back to what I was saying, I would have kept it a secret that I have a job because I had danced for such a long time. So honestly, when I popped up pregnant, people didn't know like how I was getting money or like what did I do because I was a dancer for such a long time. So it's like, now what you gonna do? You know? And for some reason, I like to keep people minds wondering. I don't like to tell my business. I'm very private. So I would have never told nobody I had a job. It was somebody with the only people that would have known is my family. So if like people from the streets or just anybody random asked me like, so like, how are you getting money? What are you doing? or whatever because you used to be a dancer so like now what do you do i just probably would have never answered them i probably would just would have ignored them because i like to keep people minds wondering like why why does it matter but i feel it's good that i am sharing this sharing my experience because other people go through this too like there's going to be other dancers out there that have been dancing for forever then boom you just pop up pregnant and you don't know what to do let me be the first to tell you get you a concierge job try to get a concierge job working at a luxury apartment building because we sit down now if you get a if you get a concierge job at a hotel you're probably gonna be standing up and you don't want to stand up while you're pregnant i'm gonna tell you right now because i didn't even want to stand up when i wasn't pregnant so make sure it's at a luxury condo building or a luxury apartment building make sure it's luxury because i even get the luxury of just sitting down doing nothing i don't have nobody monitoring me i don't have nobody on my back telling me what to do how to do it when to do it like it's just the best job to have while you're pregnant because it's smooth selling like i came in at 12 i'm getting off at eight o'clock in the morning nobody's gonna bother me so you don't really get irritated like that like it's really a cool job if you was working at a hotel doing this or just somewhere else I don't think you would get the luxury of not being bothered like I feel like people would bother you because I was just I ain't even gonna say that but <laughs> but yeah so that's just my advice that's what I would say and even if you're not pregnant I would just and you just want an easy job you you just want an easy job you know what i mean because i'm i'm a lazy person i'm not lazy but i'm lazy i'm a lazy person i don't like to be bothered i don't like to have somebody on my back I, like i could never work a retail job i did in high school but i could never work another retail job like i don't like to be micromanaged you know so even if you're not pregnant get you a luxury concierge job is the easiest job i promise you now during the day because sometimes i do work days but it's very rare during the day you probably will get more people that will bother you like people residents will come and be like oh can you give me a package or i need this i need that i need this i need that so you will get bothered in a day i would say do overnight but I overnight can be difficult if you don't have a set schedule because your body needs to get used to it like I don't have a set schedule so sometimes I be aggravated I be frustrated I be like having an attitude because you know I didn't get the proper sleep that I need in order to be here but I mean, it's the best shift to work because nobody bothers you, you know? So if you don't like to be bothered. And then you can also have like friends pull up on you. Like if I had friends, I would tell them to come and sit up here with me. Like you can have friends come sit up here with you and just chill. Or if you got a little boo thing, a little boyfriend, 
you know somebody you talking to and tell them to come up here and sit up here with you and your time will go by so fast like i be having people like come see me and they'll just talk to me the whole time i work and time will fly by so fast so like it's real cool you can tell your friends come up here and just chill with you they can go get in the pool or something like that like you can really just chill but okay y'all that's just my little intro of me working a nine to five while i'm pregnant i'm definitely going to make more videos just showing you guys more of what i do showing you guys different areas of the building but not too much because i know i can't show too much i know i still got to keep some things private but what I'm about to do is literally just sit here. I'm going to watch a little more YouTube. I'll be watching this, this woman. She's just hilarious. <laughs> She's just freaking hilarious. She's so mean, but she's hilarious. That's why I don't even want to like promote or say who I'm watching because it's kind of inappropriate, but it's on YouTube. So I'm going to watch. Let me see. I got like an hour left of watching her. It's 3 o'clock now. I don't get off till eight so i'm probably gonna watch a little more youtube for like another hour and then i'm gonna play bingo for an hour because i be gambling on my phone playing bingo i'll be winning some money that's another thing you could do like if you want to make some easy money just like play cash games on your phone like play games that if you win you get money i literally just found out about it because it was this one person on tiktok and he was like this is how I afford my luxury apartment. All I do is play games on my phone and get paid. And I thought he was lying, but he actually telling the truth because I began paid to play bingo or it's this other game I play and I began money. You start, it's not a lot. Like, I guess, cause I just started, like I make like $5, $10. But if you, as you keep playing, you start to make more money. So that's another good little side way to get money but I'm probably gonna play bingo for an hour and then I'm gonna have to get up and walk around because if I sit here for too long I'll get sleepy so I'm probably gonna get up walk around and then go sit on the couch and just chill like I'm just chilling y'all I'm just chilling sometimes I do doze off I ain't gonna lie sometimes I'm dozing off I'll be like oh <laughs> let me get up but it's real cool. The only time it, it get really hard is between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Because for some reason, I always get really sleepy between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Like, I get so sleepy. Like, one time I fell asleep, I didn't even know I fell asleep. Like, I really didn't. And then the lights was off. But at a certain time, if there's movement, they'll cut back on. So somebody was coming and all the lights cut on and that's what woke me up. And good thing it did because I was knocked out. And I was like, dang, like I don't even remember falling asleep. So that's the hardest hours to get through is five to six. Cause once six come, it's like, okay, I'm about to get off work now. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did give it a thumbs up, comment down below what are some things you want to see while i'm at work but i'm already going to come with the content honey like i'm coming with it because there's so much i want to talk to y'all about my throat my throat not even dry it's just my voice get like weird at this time of night because i'm supposed to be asleep you know so i just feel like my voice starting to crack or something so i just keep drinking water but i need to drink water anyway because I'm pregnant and this is the best time to get all my water intake when I'm like focused on being healthy um yeah and make sure you smash that subscribe button and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video